Hey jerks, uh, another day, another uh, time, opportunity to work on the cum stain, and uh, let me tell you a couple things that are going on. Uh, nothing, really, I guess. Uh, I have a new episode of Models and Movies out. Um, you can, that's not going to be a link. Anyway, the link's going to be in the description down below of my other channel, Models and Movies, where I have hot chicks come over, models, and uh, we watch a bad movie, we review it, and then... I don't know. It's funny sometimes. It's fun. I enjoy it. Anyway, I'm going to be filming another one next week, so there's going to be another one coming out the week after that. What else is going on? Um, <clears throat> nothing really. Uh, I'm kind of in a slump right now. I'm not really, uh, I'm not really doing anything lately. Anyway, uh, if you follow my Instagram, you saw the debacle that was me <laughs> adding uh, oil to the cum stain. It was a disaster. Um, make sure you remember to replace your oil cap after you put oil in your car or bad things will happen. Anyway, I discovered while I was doing this whole, um, doing the whole oil change thing, I saw this. Yeah, that is, um, that is, that is not good. I have a puddle in my trunk. All right, so you may be asking yourself, Greg, why do you have a, why do you have a muffler in your trunk? Well, that's a great question. Extra bottle of uh, oil because you might need it. Jumper cables because this is a Miata. Exhaust flange just in case I need an exhaust flange. What I'm gonna have to do is also uh, take a look at the drain plugs, the drain holes uh, because it's been really rainy. Uh, it's been really rainy the last couple of, uh, the last, I guess, two weeks here in Florida. Apparently I have leaks everywhere and drains that don't drain. So, uh, this back panel came out really easily because there was nothing holding it in. This thing right here that's supposed to cover the battery just snaps in with a couple snaps. Oh, and it's connected to this thing right here. It's like a nut on a bolt, but it's not really... Ah, oh, shit, it is on there good. You need to take that off, that's probably a 10. It has one little, one little thing that connects to part of the tail light assembly. There, so that comes out. All right, and now I'm gonna take out this bottom carpet. It's gross. It should just come out. I don't think it's held in with anything. Yeah, oh, and it's soupy and it's gross. Ew. Underneath here we have this padding which is completely saturated. That's gross. Ew, <laughs> that made a disgusting noise. Um, and then under here we have plugs which I believe I can remove those plugs and then this will this will drain. Oh God. Over here by the jack, that's full of water too. All right, so I'm already having a bad day. There's two little plugs right here that I believe I should be able to remove. There we go. And that is now draining. Whoops, flew that right over there. So drain plug here. Car's pissing on my feet. Um, and then there's a drain plug back here. All right, so here we go. Here's something I'm confused about. There are drain plugs in the trunk area and that's fine, that's a good idea why the drain plugs are actually in instead of out to allow liquids to, to flow out of the, the trunk if they happen to get in there. I don't know why they're, I don't know why they bothered to put them in. So I think I'm gonna leave them out. But, uh, so that's gonna take care of the problem of the water that's actually in the trunk right now. Now I need to figure out why water continues to get into the trunk. It could be a couple reasons. Uh, one of the reasons could be that this seal around the trunk area is bad. 
and it's allowing water to run off the, the back of the trunk and into it. I don't think that's the problem though, because this looks like it's in very good condition. So that looks fine. That does not look fine in there. That looks disgusting in there. Ugh. I'm gonna have to wipe that all out. This is disgusting. Everything's disgusting. Uh, is there a, there's no, there's no plugs, ew. Oh, here's a plug right here. There. So all the plugs are out and I'm gonna leave them out. It's not like anything's gonna crawl into this trunk. The problem is where's the water coming in from? That I don't know. Well, hard to believe there was a little girl under all that. A little aliens reference if you don't mind. So I cleaned it and I uh, got as much of the water out of there as I kind of could. There's so many sharp edges in there that if I really started cleaning that too much, uh, I'm sure I would replace a lot of that dirt with blood. So before I do the uh, the rain rails, um, not the rain rails, the, the, the drain plugs and uh, kind of fix those. And it's, it's hard to do. You can't do it with the top down. You have to do it with the top up because the rain, the, the holes are like right straight through here. But I'll get to that in a minute. Um, one thing I do want to do is I'm going to check, um, I'm going to check the seals that are around the, uh, the tail lights because that's one of the reasons why you might have a lot of um, leakage happening and it's four 10 inch or 10 inch 10 millimeter nuts that I have to take off here to get the tail light out all right so this will just pop right out of here and yeah my seal is uh, not awesome but this one is still in okay condition um, it's still rubberized so that one's going to be okay I mean you can see how dry and cracked and crusty it is right here but I think where it's actually making contact it's still soft and rubbery and it's making a, a pretty good seal so let me take the other one out and uh, look at that one all right I think this is the problem this uh, this one doesn't look good at all I guess Oh, and you can, I, I can even feel moisture right here. Okay, so that's that's definitely what's happening there. So I'm going to need to find, I'll probably order something online, um, replacement to the seals for the tail lights. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but this is, this is liquid right here. This is wet. So yeah, there you have it. That's going to fix the water in the trunk problem. All right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be shoving something down into the drain hole to try and get anything that's clogged in it out. And you're going to need something to kind of push down in there to get it out. Now, there's a couple things you can buy. There's like snake drains and or drain snakes and stuff like that you can get. But if you don't have that, um, you can use what I'm going to try to use as a really long zip tie. Um, you want it to be flexible because the top's going to have to be up. And if it's like rigid, you're not going to be able to have the space to get it in there. If you don't have one, something like that, you're gonna have to look for a really, really cheap wire hanger. And um, you're just gonna take this apart like this, and then you can bend it around anyhow you want to. You can't really get these anymore, like buying at a store. Um, this is really nice and convenient because it has a little pig's tail at the end, um, and that'll help kind of pull and push and stuff like that. If you don't have one of these, you can go get a shirt cleaned, and most cheap uh, cleaners uh, put your shirts back on these really, really cheap wire hangers. And they're kind of nice to have around in case you need, I don't know, to poke somebody with a wire hanger. So let's get started. Um, first thing first, you gotta have to put up the top. Right under here. Oh, wow, I can't see. You have to pull up the carpet right here. Oh wow, and that's, this is moist, so this is good that I'm doing this because this needs to be done. You might have to pull off this button right here. Uh, I have trim pull pieces. I'm gonna get that because I'm gonna do this right for once. All right, I'm discovering it's gonna be easier with the seat pulled forward and now I can get in here with my tool this off properly look at that 
I pulled it off. I did not break it. How you like me now? And I'm going to pull this one off just because I can and I'm here. Good. Uh, this kit was like seven bucks or nine bucks or something, 14 maybe. I don't care how much it was. It's totally worth it. So get yourself, get yourself one of these. So this gets pulled, this carpet gets pulled back a little bit here. Ooh, and there's the hole. Gross. Okay, I just stuck my finger in the hole. <laughs> That's what she said. There's the hole. Can you see it? Right there. So that's what I'm gonna be shoving my thing down into. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe knocking some stuff loose. There we go. I'm just gonna shove that down in there. Ooh, and I'm getting lots of resistance. So let me show you outside what's going on. So as I'm pushing, Oh, look at that. Look at that coming out of there. Look at all that shit. I'm just sort of going up and down with the, with the big zip tie. Now, unfortunately, I'm still getting resistance. So all I've done is kind of poked a hole through the goo that's in there. And I'm gonna need to uh, maybe send down something else to try and really break that shit up. So anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, just in this little hole right here. And I'm just going up and down. But you can see I'm getting resistance. That should be very free flowing. So I'm gonna try it with the, I'm gonna try it with the hanger and see what that does for me. Okay, so here's a quick tip. If you wanna get in the, to the back there to, to make it easy for you to um, do all that stuff. Uh, put your seat all the way up, and this works on either side by the way, put your seat all the way up and slide it all the way up. And then you're gonna, if you're not like wider than me, and let's face it, you're in a Miata, so probably not, you can just sort of wedge your body with your hip between the back seat, back the, the back area and the, and the back seat here, and you have so much room for activities now. Um, you can get back here with your, with your tool, to do anything that you need to do to take these off. I've already done this, by the way. Um, and this one was much, much uh, cleaner than the other side. And then you have area, or you have room to stick your things down in there. So that's just an easy way to get back here to do it. Um, I tried it, I tried kind of leaning in on the other side and that was way harder than it needed to do. I just found this cool way to sit sort of right here and it works for me. I'm just gonna leave the car open for a couple hours, I guess, to try and air out, whatever. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Good Egg Miata, and uh, check out my other channel, Models and Movies. And I guess that's it. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, tell a friend, and uh, bye.